of itself to the International Space Station. And we are seeing Rosie on the inside. She is patient, and uh, so is Sunny Williams. We're in the ISS. Place. On uh, two, we are in step uh, six decimal two, waiting for a go. mentioned, they will grab that latch bar, they'll turn it uh, one and one quarters of a turn to the left. Um, you know, the vehicle is in space, so there could be this uh, phenomenon known as su suction cup effect, and so they might have to, you know, turn that latch just another quarter of a turn to give it some more force. And then the hatch itself also has uh, two sort of kicker plates, and you could sort of think about that as like built-in butter knives on a pickle jar. All right, and it looks like the hatch is open to the Starliner. We're getting uh, Bob Hines is the first uh, astronaut to enter Starliner in orbit, successfully opening up the hatch. This view coming from the Starliner itself. We have learned through some challenges and gotten to the space station. Um, it did take some time, and the Starliner spacecraft had to wait patiently. Looks like uh, Chell wants to take center stage on this, but of course, uh, that takes the priority. Uh, they, they Okay, you're traveling down uh, PMA-2, which is uh, where the docking adapters are on the very front of Space Station, and now you're entering into Starliner. So welcome uh, to Starliner for the very first time ever uh, in space. Uh, here you can see Starliner, and uh, Rosie the Rocketeer is sitting over in the commander's seat, <laughs> along with uh, her zero-G indicator, Ker uh, Je Jebediah Kerbal. Uh, she's got a great view out uh, her window over there, uh, and then on the uh, crewed vehicles, we'll